everybody, Goldie here, and today we are kicking off the brand new month-long contest in WWE Champions, the Heat Wave MLC, and taking a look at your free character for this event, it is Otis from Alpha Academy. Uh, yes, the chase is Chad Gable. Uh, he is a modern era chaotic powerhouse, trainer ability at 21k. Protect gems do 100% more damage. Links, Alpha Academy link. Purple moves start with 7 more move points. Uh, modern Era gems do 5% more damage. And just the one standard set of gear. Uh, first, let's just, get, let's just get the elephant out of the room. Um, what happened? What? Why did you do them like this? Anyways, uh, so because he is the free character for the month, I will do um, a move set that's available at two star as well as the standard three star, four star, and five star. Uh, you will see that he uses blast gems. So as you can imagine, we're going to do a run it back with the Titan plate. Uh, but for this preview, we're going to keep um, the entourage fairly free to play. Uh, first move set. Available at two star is double red with purple one. And yes, I am aware that at two star you only get to use one trainer and you don't have a belt. Use the MP trainer every single time. Uh, so, finisher, the caterpillar, 10 MP. Deal 162,918 damage. Choose eight gems to make into purple gems and pin the opponent. Red two, double axe handle, 7 MP. Deal 84,590 damage and modify a 5x5 five five random area into X break gems. And purple 1, the discus clothesline, 6 MP. Deal 72,497 damage and choose three, a 3x2 three area to swap into red gems. Again, this is max 5 star gold values. I'm not sure how it scales at lower rarities at the moment. Entourage for this, woods for purple MP. He gets the standard 50% um, more gem damage. All colored moves start with two more MP. So with Woods, this purple move will be ready to go on turn one even without Torperks. Um, Batista for 50% more red move damage and an extra red move point if you have um, Tech Damian Priest for the finisher. That would be um, that would be the route that, the route that I take, but I do not have him. Uh, Hall of Fame Eddie for two more purple gems with the finisher, just because. And uh, Santa Hogan for a little more gem damage. See, they really, like, the PNG is so nice. And then they just, you know. Um, anyways. So his bonuses are in play. Gems do 50% more damage. All color moves start with two more move points. I don't believe that is double stacked. It shouldn't be. Oh, it is? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, that's 11.5. That There's no way that should be 34k. Well, I guess we're doing a souped up preview. Anyways, uh, we are going against Ivar, and uh, they're going to have to reinforce the ring. Look at that. They reinforced it. They put it in a steel cage. Um, okay. A 3x2 area to swap into red gems. It means you can just do 2-3 matches. Maybe avoid the risk of Cascade there. Yeah, his gem damage is definitely 50% higher than what it should be. That'll get looked into, I assume. And basically, the whole board's gonna go boom. Uh, what I'm going to do is cover up the loot boxes, and then cover up his... 
black gems. Just so we can do, you know, it's our secondary color, so do as much damage as possible. And yeah, 2.32 mil, don't expect that to be the case. But very, very straightforward moveset. Again, two star, you would use um, just purple Xavier Woods to get that going on turn one. Let's go look at a three star build. Three star build is very similar. We're bringing in the second purple move, which is the Dozer Bomb, 8 MP. Deal 93,446 damage and make 32 random gems into blast gems. Um, so foreshadowing a run it back, perhaps. Going to keep the entourage the exact same. It's just instead of X breaks, you get blast gems. So everything is the same minus that move. So the difference being, not turn one. But you could make it turn one if you land a wild card and don't cascade. Which is... Maybe? Nope. Had to go and say something. Uh, well. Yeah, let's just take a swipe. Alright. Now let's bring the pain. Uh, 32 random gems into blast gems. Uh, rip eyes and ears. And then the finisher. Again, we're going to be blowing up like the entire board. So, you know, cover up his. I mean, we're blowing up the board, not like it's going to matter, but, you know, get as much gem damage as possible. Place purples over things that aren't red or green. Yeah, that should be everything. Yeah. Boop! <laughs> the 1.6 million damage. Again, just an alternate way to run that. I think with a basic setup, I prefer the two-star build, just because it is turn one, ready to go. But I'll definitely be running that one in another video with another plate. Um, now, let's see what he's got a four-star. Four-star build brings in both of his green moves, which we have not seen yet. Uh, green one is the corner shoulder thrust, 8 MP. Deal 95,123 damage and increase your purple MP by 8. Uh, green 2, the middle rope diving splash, is the 4 star move, 8 MP as well. Deal 91,013 damage and make 16 blast gems into red gems. And then we're going to be using that with the dozer bomb, making 32 random gems into blasts. On trash for this, uh, steal for more green MP. We're going to use Big John Stud to make more of those blast gems into reds. Uh, Santa Hogan for gem damage. And I'm going to use Trick Sammy for blast gem damage. Don't at me. He was a chase character. So I consider him obtainable. Um, but it's not going to be turn one without tour perks because they're 8 MP moves. And for the belt, I finally got a green percent fury, but I do not have the parts to level it up. So a measly 53%. And then for the plates, um, we're going Twilight Ritual. You could do the What the Rock is Cooking plate as well. We're going to be turning uh, Blast Gems into Red Gems, and that'll help us recycle the purples. Um, Aftershock is the other way around, so it wouldn't be applicable here. Uh, but with the Twilight Ritual, you can at least hope maybe you'll cascade a little more after the big boom. What the rock is cooking would guarantee you three purple MP. Totally up to you. And let's see. 
how it does. Yeah, so turn two, so we'll play a little defensively to take away his black match. And then make sure you hit these in the correct order. So corner shoulder thrust first. Then the dozer bomb. So when you're setting it up for yourself, if you want to use this build, maybe put the purple move in the middle. I just had it this way for um, explanation purposes. And middle rope diving splash. 20 of these turning into red. And no kick out, but recycling will be... We'll see. Nice. Nice. So you could maybe even double stack that if you wanted to. Not that you can run two plates, but... So that is a four-star build. And lastly, let's see what is available at five-star. Five-star move is a submission. So we are going to run it alongside the finisher and purple one. Uh, so the submission red three bear hug nine MP generates 16 random submission gems and do 96,175 damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into blast gems. Um, so naturally there is a submission. The defensive feed perks are the same as last month. Uh, so botch gems, 200% uh, more to subs, three more turns. So we did the math. And uh, bells and whistles include Zombie Austin, Powerhouse Lashley, and Acro Shelton. So your base of 96,175 plus 290%. 200% from perks, 50% from Lashley, 20% uh, from Shelton, and 20% from Zombie Austin gives you 375,000. Multiply that by 10. Again, the base is three turns. You get three from perks, three from Austin, one from Lashley. And your submission is going to be doing about 3.75 million damage in a feud. Again, bells and whistles, max perks, five star gold. So for a free character, not terrible at all. We saw similar with uh, Showboat Damien Priest. Uh, so again, another option at Super Sub and another color option as well, which I like to see. Uh, we will not be running the Super Sub build, however, because the health pools and it's hard to kind of, you know, emulate feud perks on the road. Uh, but we are just going to go back to the uh, build that we were running before. Woods, Batista, Hall of Fame, Eddie, and Santa Hogan. Alternatively, you could use Tucker um, to reduce your sub turns instead of one of these two to ensure you're getting more blast gems on the board. It's only a three turn sub. I'm not super concerned. Uh, plate, you could do an all heart. You could do an all heart, actually, because he's his secondary and like third colors are green and purple. Um, there is no sub plate for red yet. That would be ideal. Actually, no, purple would probably be ideal. Anyways, you could. We're not going to, but you could. So again, monthly boosts means this is ready to go on turn one. Risk of a cascade here. Did not happen, thank you. Uh, bear hug submission. Rip ears. That was kind of cool that you saw the bars of the cage. Okay, you can stop. And then Caterpillar, try to get as many Blast Gems as possible. So if we do like a four match there, we'll get that and that, those and that. We'll go down for that. We'll go up for that. 
And then, uh, yeah, let's just color some stuff in. Or we could just completely botch it. That works too. I know how boards work. Definitely can't make a four match and then add stuff to it because then it's no longer a four match. The more you know. Anyways, we are inadvertently showing the recyclability of this moveset. See? I did it for a reason. I did it for the rock. Yeah, there's no way his gem damage output is proper. This is definitely being taken into account. The double stack. This is probably, like, increased gem generation by two, which is the standard. Or maybe even red gems do 50% more damage. But there's no way he's supposed to get 100% gem damage boost. That's just not... I mean, I've asked. I'll let you know. But it does not feel proper at the moment. And now we cascade. Go figure. Yep, this is going accordingly. Can we get like a ring break spot? Oh, you can take all my gems, why don't you? Big sad. So, reapply the submission. And again, we'll do this properly this time. So that's a primary color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did it! I did it! Be proud of me. Did the bare minimum. Excellent. Excellent. And that's how that looks. So that concludes our first look at Otis Alpha Academy. Again, your free character for this month-long heat wave contest. Quick little recap here. Uh, trainer ability at 5 star gold, 21,000 talent. Protect gems do 100% more damage. Uh, tag link with the chase Chad Gable. Purple moves start with 7 more move points. Modern era gems do 5% more damage. No gear and modern chaotic powerhouse. So let me know what you think. I think for a freebie, I mean powerhouses typically have high charge moves. So not terrible damage output is nice again his boosts are double stacked for some reason so expect the damage output to be a little lower um than what this video showed unfortunately i can't go in the code and fix that uh but stay tuned i will have a video um showcasing the tag link and uh let me know in the comments what you think thank you very much for taking the time to watch be sure to like share with your friends and subscribe all that good stuff thank you for being a friend Put it on me, and the, put it on me.